The oceans and humans are inextricably interconnected. Here in Maryland, human and environmental factors such as historic overharvesting, sedimentation, and disease have caused a dramatic decline in the oyster population of the Chesapeake Bay. Youth are a strong voice for environmental change, and through programs at the National Aquarium, they are making a difference. In the Aquarium on Wheels work-study program, high school students from Baltimore meet after school to learn about the aquatic environment. Aquarium on Wheels program, go, we make a play involving the Chesapeake Bay. We write the script, we make the costumes, the props, and the backdrop, and the play is usually about an environmental or a conservational issue. Here at the National Aquarium, we are doing a lot of things that are trying to re rebound these oyster populations, uh, making sure we're planting trees and things that reduce runoff and chemicals that go into the bay and harm these populations of oysters. The National Aquarium is located in Baltimore's Inner Harbor, which connects to the Patapsco River which leads to the Chesapeake Bay and out to the Atlantic Ocean. Oysters are a vital part of this massive ecosystem. As oysters feed, they pull in water which may contain sediment. The sediment is trapped in mucus by the oyster and deposited at the bottom of the bay, removing the sediment from the water column. The result is clearer and healthier waterways. Because they are part of the food chain, we need to protect them in order to keep the food chain going. They are the base of a history of economy here in Baltimore and it's, it's unthinkable of how life would have existed here 100 years ago if we didn't have oysters. The students will visit the Phillips Wharf Education Center on Tillman Island, which is investigating oyster diseases. There they will learn more about the effects of oyster diseases and help grow our local oyster population by collecting seed oysters from oyster gardening sites, measuring and counting the young oysters, and placing them in the bay in oyster restoration sites. Baby oysters, if they don't have a hard surface to land on, they'll die. So helping to create hard surfaces at the bottom of the ocean can help oysters to live longer. So what we could do is dump, dump dead oyster shells in the bay so the speck can have something hard to attach to. Maintaining these oyster populations and the overall health of Chesapeake Bay is so important for not only Baltimore, but everything in Maryland and along the Chesapeake Bay getting out in the community uh, with the kids and things like that and our plays here at uh, the National Aquarium. They've just been tremendous um, and all the things reflect back to the Chesapeake Bay and, and our own habitat here in Baltimore so I think that's the coolest part about it. Together with the students of the Aquarium on Wheels program, we will make a difference for the oysters of the Chesapeake Bay. The future of the oyster population is truly in our hands.